We greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Before we begin the reading of the word of the Lord, we have also tonight another presentation of the children. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we're going to repeat the same text that, that was read last night. It speaks of the circumcision and the presentation and the introduction of the, the Lord Jesus in Luke Luke 22 verse 21 is said but behold the hand of behold the hand of my betrayal so when the days of purification began according to the law of Moses they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord according to what is written in the word of the Lord uh, the law of the Lord every male firstborn will be um, consecrated to the Lord and uh, to follow the law of the Lord the sacrifice of two doves we don't baptize children as it was said last night the baptism that is written in the Bible is the baptism of repentance so man in order to be baptized man has to be aware of his sin of his trans transgression that he broke the laws of the Lord and that man needs to go through this process of die to the world and to live to Christ so Jesus wants the disciples didn't want the children to come close to him he said let the children come to me the daughter the girls too the boys and girls the children because uh, from them is the kingdom of God so the children they are innocent they belong to the kingdom they don't need to repent of anything because after all they haven't done anything wrong they have they don't have any knowledge or awareness um, oh, sin begins with the awareness and the original sin that begins with the knowledge of good and evil and tonight we're going to introduce once again another child because it's written in the law that every child should be presented to the Lord so we're going to call to the front here the father of the child Renato Oliveira and his wife Tatiana Oliveira and the child that is going to be presented Lorenzo Lorenzo Oliveira in order to for us to obey the Lord the Lord which is to present the child in his presence oh the boy is sleeping how many days and months three months has been in the Lord the church will be we're going to present Lawrence in the presence of the Lord to the Father we want to praise him glorify your holy name and thank you Lord for the life of Lorenzo because now there is a plan of project that you designed Lord from his birth before he was conceived you have already provided everything for him we praise the Lord for this gift that you, you offer to their parents this inheritance that comes from your eternity that was trusted into their hands I want to praise you and glorify the Lord at this moment for the life of this couple as Lord fulfilled uh, a revelation of your word and we plead Lord that you may be present every day of the life of Lorenzo to protect him to deliver him to speak with him Lord to give him experience to act and operate Lord maintaining Lord every day 
them inside of a project and you give them instruction and teach the parents and uh, show the parents how to teach how the children you know your path so that they may never deviate from my presence. We praise you in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm training. Amen. The brother can go back. We are still remain standing. So let us open the Bible and look. 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 Chapter 8. Look 8. Verse 43. Look eight forty three. Wait eight forty three and wait forty eight. Gospel according to Luke. And the word of the Lord says the following. Now a woman. Having a flow of blood for 12 years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any. Now, verse 48 And he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has saved your has made you well. Go in peace. The Brandon King sit down. No, amen. Text it shows a moment in the life of a woman and the word um, makes a record of this woman that had an infirmity this infirmity was following her for 12, 12 years It, it was not an infirmity that we could say that could have been measured uh, that could be shared with anyone because according to the law of Moses in this moment we just spoke about the law of Moses when, when we were introducing the child that's why the mother of Jesus uh, took eight days in order to present the child because according to the law of Moses when a woman when she, uh, woman gives birth give birth to a child or when a, a woman was during the, the period of her, of the month she was considered impure and she had to spend a period of purification And during this period in which she was, uh, she had uh, the flow of blood, everything that she touched was considered impure as well. Everything that I touch, I'll, I'll make it impure. I turn it impure. I contaminate. And uh, the brother and sister here, can you imagine what that means? Carrying for 12 years a heavy cross like that. If somebody would be aware, and there, there are always those that are very kind, and very polite, and very good people, right? The woman was pass, would pass by, and then they would say, Oh, there goes an impure woman.
it was a person that was marked by a stigma. I'm sure that it would that would cause her a, a lot of anguish and sadness and even worries because at any moment her difficulty would end up uh, being discovered and she would be exposed and the situation was would be very uncomfortable for her because when a person had a normal um, flux of blood like the mother of Jesus and she purified herself for eight days she could uh, introduce herself to the priest and it was made would be made for her a sacrifice and then she would then become clean and the word says that this woman was very upset with that infirmity to the point of fighting for her cure also during 12 years of her life but during 12 years of her life she was searching in vain she searched searched and was not able to find a solution to her problem And the word says that everything that she had, everything that she pos she possessed, all her resources, they all vanished throughout uh, those 12 years. And she now, she had only one thing left, the illness. She still remained sick because she was always seeking on doctors she was seeking on men she was always seeking on science she was always seeking on medicine she was always seeking on human knowledge a solution a way for her to get rid of the, that infirmity and many times we are living like that we are living a period a long period uh, a lengthy period of a, an infirmity that causes that prevent us from to come close to the priest that prevent us from having access to the service because at that time you in those days she could not uh, go to a, a service because of her illness and sometimes we search it and look for resources in order for our illness to go away to stop existing and then we go to men and we are willing to pay in order for for that problem to go away and it's interesting that when we pay with we no no longer owe anything I pay for for service the for service was was done a person received their part I received my own part and then we are okay and during the service if the bread observed one of the prayers was made by a, a sister and she said we are we are servants who are debtors that woman didn't want to owe anything to anyone that's why she spent everything she had that woman understood that at that moment in, in which she was living mom, the moment in which she no longer had the means to pay she understood that she needed Jesus and many times we live like that 
when we no longer have a way to solve our problems, to pay, to pay our debt, in order for us not to be impure anymore. We resort to Jesus. And you, my brother, sister, and this woman especially, you see many examples in the word of the Lord. The blind on the side of the road, he shouted, Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The ten leopard, they stopped from afar and shouted, God, Lord, have mercy on us. And we'll see many examples. But this woman here, she didn't want to be identified. She said, no, I don't have the money. I don't want any commitment. So I'm going to uh, go uh, like uh, in a very discreet way. I'll touch on his garment. I will be cured. Then I'll go back to my home. And I still feel like I'm, I'm not going to be owing anybody because nobody will know it. And many times we are, we come to the church and that's what we want. I'm going to that service. And you know why, why, you know why people, you know why there was a crowd there? The first verse up there says this, that there was a large crowd and was written. So the crowd received him. And you know why the crowd received Jesus? Because Jesus was going to go back and they were waiting for his return. And it's interesting that the crowd, the multitude that was there, they knew that Jesus was coming back. And they were there for that reason alone. Because they were sure, they had the conviction, they had the knowledge that Jesus was going to come back and the crowd as smart as they were they were there waiting for Jesus and we're here in the service we entered in this place because we know that Jesus once again he is, was going to come to this place because the word the commandment of the Lord says the following whatever there are two or three gathered in my name I will I will be there so that woman she followed the crowd she thought oh that crowd is going to go to that place to wait for Jesus to come back and this person called Jesus, he will come back, he will be present in the midst of the crowd, and I will be disguised in the middle of the crowd, I will receive my blessing, and then I'm going to get out. She didn't want to be identified. Oh, I'm identifying my sister. But The word says that nobody realized, nobody knew that there was a woman in that situation there. But Jesus, he felt the presence of that woman. And Jesus went to that place at that moment in order to receive that woman and cure her of her illness 
No one will be able to identify my sister, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has already identified you. And he said the following There was virtue that came out of me. The grace of the Lord uh, came to that woman. And she didn't have to pay anything. Because it is written in the Bible you we receive freely, and freely we will give. She didn't have to pay anything. You know why? Because the price has already been paid for by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Because by grace, you are saved. It is not something that comes from you, it's a gift from God. In the Bible, my brethren, says the following Jesus called that woman. And he had a word for that woman at that moment. Jesus was able to notice something interesting in the life of that woman. What she had besides her illness. Faith. Faith. Jesus, at a certain point, he said, when a, when a son of man comes, will, will he be able to find faith? And also there's another verse in the Bible that says that faith is not of uh, something from everyone. That's interesting. It's not everyone that has faith. That woman had faith. That's why she went uh, with the crowd that was waiting for Jesus. That's why she knelt down. And still in hiding. She humiliated herself and she placed her life in the presence of Him, in the presence of Jesus. Not in the presence of a man. So she would be owing to a man. But she placed her life in the presence of Jesus. And because she made this decision, she was cured. She had made another type of action. If she had touched Peter, Andrew, James, John, Bartholomew, Philip, Andrew, Judas, the good one, and the other Judas, complicated one, she would return afflicted, anguished, sad, and still sick back to her home. Every time the person comes with the crowd, waiting to receive something from men, the person will waste, spend everything that that person has, all their hope, the hope is going to be diluted, going to run out. Because, but when they come into the presence of the Lord, trusting that God, through Jesus, has power and authority to cure her of any infirmity, she not only will be cured, because the desire of the Lord is not to cure. Jesus didn't come to cure alone. But he cures. Jesus didn't come only to open uh, the eyes of a blind, but he, he does open the eyes of the blind. Jesus, when Jesus came to that woman, he said, My daughter. What a good thing. That woman was adopted on that day. I'm adopted from the part of my mother. Received her 
last name and an inheritance. And on that day, the Lord, through Jesus, gave a last name to that woman. And gave to that woman an inheritance. In the book of John, first chapter, it says the following. He gave them the power of being made children of God to those who to those who believe blessed be the name of the Lord that woman believed in Jesus and she was not only cured but she also received from Jesus the power of being called daughter of God because the desire of the Lord is this is to make us into to make us into children to give us an inheritance to give a home in heaven a place in eternity he didn't say woman he said daughter you are my daughter you are my son says the Lord because that woman she believed and when we believe we see the glory of the Lord shine upon our lives and the Bible also said something else about faith that faith is a firm foundation and what else are the things that we can that we wait and proof of the things that we cannot see faith is not something abstract is a firm foundation because faith is Christ faith is Jesus he is real he is true he is the base is the basis of our entire existence. He is the author and finisher of our faith. And when that woman understood that she didn't need any man of doctors, but she needed Jesus, she went to Jesus and she was cured of her illness. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Lord speak to that woman, daughter, be of good cheer. So rejoice. Be happy. Happy. Glorify. Pray, praise me. You know why, my daughter? Because your faith saved you. She no, not only left the place with the cure, but she left the place with salvation. She entered that place without peace, but our, our Lord Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He came to her and said, My daughter, go in peace. And she received a cure, salvation, and she left the place filled with peace. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. And all of it because she believed. And she did not depend on any man. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Lord also has shown a woman in a spiritual gift. And she entered here with her mind, with her thoughts. So, how can I say? So closed up for the things of God, for the project of God that nothing could penetrate nothing could, en could enter into her mind but during the service here the Lord operated a miracle in her life and she was amazed with what God had done during the service in her benefit daughter Jesus is telling you be go in peace and your faith has saved you let us sing a song
church will stand up. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise you and give you honors. We're thankful for your presence because you are once again present in this place for the action and operation of your Holy Spirit and that tonight you have cured us, you have saved, you have given us, Lord, peace and glorify, Lord, your holy name because of the resource of your grace because you have given to your people, to your church over those that have come up to your sanctuary, Lord we plead that your plan, your project and especially in the life of this daughter may be uh, fulfilled and that she may leave this place saved and may go back to her home in peace and telling how many great things you have operated in her life I want to praise and glorify lord for all of those things and present lord also all our adoration our gratitude 
and we offer you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let me say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our, our good and eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit with the whole people of God, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. We want to tell you, my brother and sister, that you are welcome to this place every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Thursday at 8 o'clock, Saturday at 7.30, Sunday in the morning at 10.30, and Sunday night at 7.30. We are here gathered because we know that the Lord will be once again present in order to support us and help us and save us, cure us, and deliver us. If you, if you need as needy as we are, you are invited to be here to come many more times. If you desire a, a prayer for your life, a clarification regarding the message, just remain where you are and raise your hand so that we may go towards you and give you all the necessary assistance. Amen.